I scanned down the sites in the system earlier and was just coming back to go home when I saw Monkey's X jump through in a Gila and then warp off to one of the sites I scanned down earlier. I'm not sure which one it was over here close by somewhere between three and four looks like. Uh, which one was it? Uh, this one, okay. The Forgotten Perimeter Gateway. So I'm gonna go ahead and save a perch as I get on grid so I can see if this is a fight I can take. I'm not sure how far along he is with the site yet. Or she is. Uh, Monkey's X. Hereafter should be known as Monkey's X. So Monkey's X is here with a sleepless escort battleship. So Ricky's excellent guide tells me that means he is on the last wave. I can't delay too much here, but on the other hand, he can't spawn the next wave to kill me. So let's see, what else can we tell here? Monkey Sex is moving around 200 meters per second. His previous fit was micro warp drive, so that, that could be or could be no prop mod. I'm sure if he had an AB, he'd be running it. Uh, I don't know, I got here late, the site's nearly done. He's probably in the recharge phase of his shield cycle for the wave. Uh, and the class of the other site's clear now, and it looks like I debated too long because Monkey Sex scooped the depot and is going to warp off somewhere else to another site. All right, one I have scanned down. All right, an unsecured perimeter transponder farm. So now we have a gateway to unsecured Monkey Sex. Okay, last time uh, Monkey Sex lost a Gila, it was, according to Zekill, one that did about 750 DPS, had 190 passive rep, and 51,000 EHP Omni, uh, but only 37,500 EHP if I dropped Kaldari drones, which I happen to have. I am in a PvE PvP hybrid fit, an armor buffer with a medium rep and newts. Now he's not highly cap dependent, uh, so he's got high DPS. It's going to be a, a very tough fight. Uh, it's going to take me, uh, he's got what, probably 1500 caps, so two minutes to newt him out. And I doubt I can withstand his DPS for more than maybe 90 seconds, even with a little rep running. Uh, the Gil is a great ship, and his weapon system would apply, I think, very well to my slow haul. So this is a dumb fight to take, uh, plus I'm going to take some significant rat DPS. I'm going to need rat assistance, though, because there's no other agents nearby to assist in delivering this package. Let's see, uh, yeah, this is in fact the end of the third wave, and not the last one. Okay, so um, my best chance here is to be hit with drones and newts when his shields are already low. Time to exercise patience five, second only to customer service five when it comes to important deliveries. Here's wave, wave four. And he just took his heavy DPS, I'm gonna warp in. Took his heavy sustained DPS from wave three and now he took an alpha on that Gaia uh, from that wave spawn, it's time to go. So I warp in, warp is good. I need to get in scram range so I didn't just warp out of here or MWD out of here. Maybe even get a bump. Okay, I decloak. I almost activate my reactive hardener and then realize how silly it is to turn that thing on when I'm not taking armor damage yet. I'm approaching, see so if I can get a tackle. Can I get a bump off? Can I get a tackle? Oh, cool, the lock sticks and he's, he's scrammed. All right, this is awesome. He is sitting at near the 30% shield mark. So that means it's at peak region but also that I've got 20,000 less effective hit points to plow through with my little drones. All right, little drones, do your business. Go, go, go. Now he targets me, of course, and uh, not yet that hurt, for sure. Let's get that reactive hardener overheated, get the rep overheated, and get those running. I'm in armor fast. You know, it's totally the way it should be. I'm in a armor tank, uh, but I, I run shield buffer so often that it feels weird to have all that red. Right. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'd say we're about even right now, maybe. I mean, he's he's low but holding. I'm middle and kind of holding. Um. Oh, I think I'm I think I'm ahead of him. I think I am. Okay. Yes, I am. I'm ahead of him. Am I gonna finish it? Am I gonna finish it? Or am I gonna die? Um. One of us is dying for sure. Oh, he's in structure. I think I got this. I get some big black from the battleships. I uh, guess he goes down. All right, and uh, 51 million isk bounty. That is sweet. Uh, so I'm thinking, no way I can take the damage from those battleships. It is time to go. I mashed my recall drone hotkey. Recall drone hotkey. Recall. Ah, stupid drones! They ignore me. And I 
I, I warp off. Okay, but stop a minute here. So I often fly a buffer shield strat, and I panicked a little bit here, looking at all the red, and it cost me a lot. Um, these little guys, they're only doing 40 DPS, and there's one escort left. It's maybe 180. My cold rep versus sleepers is like 160. What I should have done is cycle my reactive to reset it after it was stacked up from fighting monkey sex. And then just run the rep in the reactive cold, loot the field, and go, and then go. But I panicked and worked off. It cost me a gecko, four Vespas, 50 million in loot, and a chance to kill a 25 or so million isk MTU and pick up whatever dropped. <sighs> oh well. Okay, so I recovered my composure and decided I can warp back, reconnect to my gecko, clear loot the field, and do all this before Monkey Sex gets back with his La Division Blue buddies. Alright, so let's go ahead and repair. Seriously. Oh, dude, seriously, dude, I did not put Nanite Repair Paste, and there's a Loki on scan. So, time's, time's up, probably. Yeah, so my drones are still here. Hey, maybe it's not too late. I could, I could go ahead and, man, I'm repped up, and the drones are still alive. I could warp the MTU, reconnect, scoop the drones, and get out. But the Loki, the Loki, um, I don't know, man. The Loki and the two Stratii, yeah, no. I don't know why I stalled, but goodbye, Gecko. Fare thee well, my friend. You're going to be worth 85 million isk in a few weeks, but now you're, you're trash. On the plus side, maybe I would have lost my strat. I don't know. But time for the receipt. Dear Monkey Sex. So, lessons learned. Number one, descan more. I'm good about scanning when I'm hunting or hacking, but not so good when I'm actually in the fight. Number two, bring nanite repair paste. Enough said. Number three, know what your ship can tank. And number four, don't panic. Thanks for hanging out again as we're learning to Eve.